In this video, we've got sales. I've got a charity shop haul to show you. A little bit about football cards. I've been messed around by a buyer. No one messes with the master of pieces. <laughs> Let's get in the garage and I'll tell you all about it. Hey guys, Ian, the master of pieces here, and in today's video, I want to show you everything that sold this weekend. I mean, it started off really underwhelming, to be honest. Friday was pretty poor, but it has ramped up, and I've got a nice few sales to show you on Sunday. Saturday, I went to the charity shop, picked up a few bits and pieces. Um, yeah, some nice items in there that I should be able to bundle together to make more profit on eBay. Um, and I had some football cards delivered Saturday morning. So I'm gonna take you through what my strategy is on those, what I'm gonna sell, what I'm gonna hold on to and why. But what really annoyed me on Saturday was I'd been messed around with by a buyer and they led me down the garden path and it's ended up with me blocking them. They're still messaging me, but hey, it's done, they're blocked. But before we get into that, let me show you what's all Friday. So after giving it the big and last video saying, oh, my eBay business is growing, I'm listing more, I'm selling more. Friday, I only sold two things. First up, I sold a pair of shoes and they should be in this bag here. Uh, hopefully they'll be in the top. Yeah, there they are, because I've only just listed these. It's a pair of Adidas Superstars. They're not in fantastic condition. They are a good size though. They are UK size eight. And these ones went for 18 pound 50 plus postage. And the other sale I had on Friday was, yep, should be down here, a set of ice cream glasses. And I've got five of these. Actually, I did have six, but I did break one of them by accident. I got these as part of a trade. I traded a load of Hornby trains last year, and this is just the tail end of the stuff I traded it for. Those five glasses went for nine pounds plus postage. So yeah, Friday was pretty underwhelming. So just to rub salt into the runes on what was a bang average Friday, I've been messed around by a buyer as well. So someone made me an offer for this ET box set here. It's a Blu-ray with a spaceship and the spaceship lights up, plays the ET music. It's really, really cool actually. But after they made the offer, they messaged to say they're interested in buying some of my Transformers. Hey, brilliant, no problem at all. So we messaged backward and forward and we sent a lot of messages actually to each other, but we eventually come up with a price for everything together. And the way that I left it with him was, you pay the full price for all the Transformers. And because you've already made me an offer on this ET, I will just counter that with a much lower offer, but the total amount you will pay will be the amount that we'd agreed on for the whole bundle. I would adjust the price using that ET. Um, so yeah, simple, isn't it? So I went to bed expecting to get up the next day with all the Transformers sold and all I've got to do is counter that for the, the correct total. Instead, I wake up to a message to say, he wants to post a lot of this stuff to his friend in Russia. Okay, but he's looked at the price of posting all this stuff and it is gonna cost him a fair whack. So could I knock some more money off of our total agreed price just to help him out with the postage a bit? And you know what? I was thinking, okay, that's fine because I was more than happy with the combined price that we'd come up with. So I, I knocked off a bit of money there. But you know what? He went dead quiet all a Saturday, apart from he woke up a bit like mid-afternoon. He sent me then a few messages saying, could he have some more pictures of the box condition? Do the sounds work? Do the lights work? Could he send, could I send some pictures of it working? Could I send him more picture of the, of the Transformers in their robot mode, their vehicle modes with the accessories? I was like, come on, mate. I, I don't need this. So I just cancelled them all. And I've actually blocked him as well. Like, I'm, I'm not desperate to sell all of this stuff right now. All of this is pretty desirable. I don't need his business. You know, I can, someone else is always going to come in. It, it might be at a later date and they will buy all this. I know they will. So I just got rid of all that, got rid of all that hassle. But the thing is, even though I have blocked him, because we were opening up messages and we've got a message dialogue going, he is still messaging me. I'm not messaging him back, but the messages, they're not getting nasty, but they're getting a bit like, oh, you promised that you do this. I've, I've got this for my friend's birthday. It's all of that type of stuff. So no, it's gone, mate. You're gone. You're blocked. You're not having any of this. So yeah, that wasn't particularly brilliant. So to make up for it, what I did on Saturday was actually go to the charity shops and I picked up a few more pieces. So let me show you what I did pick up. 
Right then, so rant over with. I just just listened to that back actually. That was a little bit ranty. Anyway, this is all the stuff that I picked up in the charity shop. First up, we have got this super cool SpongeBob SquarePants. He's from 2006. Only paid 50p for him. That should be go for I don't know six seven quid plus postage. We've also got a Barbie Jeep from 2008, and this is a retro Barbie. She's got ice skates on. Actually, she's stuck in there at the minute, but that cost me a pound. For everything there's got to be profit in that this bag here this is mcdonald's toys but they're from adventure time and there's loads of them in there there's got to be a, about 20 of them in there i paid three pounds for all of them you're looking at about 12 13 pounds plus postage but this was an absolute steal here i got everything in this box for four pounds and we've got loads and loads of bob the builder bits so there's a couple of diggers there and a tractor there and loads of bob the builder figures there's a little scarecrow i think there's the lady in there as well there's a farmer in there so that is not too bad for four quid and actually i, I went to the next charity shop and there's a bit of a bob the builder theme because they had all of these bob the builder vehicles but these were a pound each which is still an absolute bargain so what i do need to do is bundle those all together or split them up and form nice bundles and they should sell pretty well uh, but the final thing I bought, and this is probably my favourite, he just looks really, really cool. This is Zebedee off of the Magic Roundabout. It's not particularly old, 2004, and it cost me two ninety nine. dollars That guy's handwriting is terrible, isn't it? That cost two ninety nine. That should go for £12 or £13 pounds plus postage. So, a nice little impromptu charity shop trip. Now, Saturday sales have been much more like it. I've sold a couple of nice beefy items, but I haven't been paid for them yet. So I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to show you them until they ha I have been paid. But these next ones have been paid for. And the first one, I would like to say a massive thank you to reseller Daz, who watched my last video when I was going over the rack and he saw the He-Man toys and he saw the Gremlins. And he messaged me to say, would I be interested in selling him this Christmas gizmo this santa gizmo and of course i would um yeah it's got the tag on it there it's a necker one there and um, this is going to go straight into darren's collection so yeah darren thanks ever so much for buying gizmo from me this will be in the post monday and i'm sure it'll go great into your collection next up i sold this et and i got this from the poke pickup same as that gizmo i got it in in um the same bundle this one went for nine pounds plus postage so yeah really really cool these are so easy to to post i just um well i do actually put a bit of um bubble wrap around them just to keep them all nice and tight so they haven't got any loose bits and then stick them in a nice bag and then la la label them up dead easy Next up, I sold this WWE figure. This is Shawn Michaels, a heartbreak kid. Nothing really to write home about. I'm, I've, I've got the rest of, oh, a tail end of, of a bundle just to clear out. Five pounds plus postage for this one. And I sold this Team GB mug. So I paid a couple of quid in the uh, charity shop for this. This one went for seven pound 50 plus postage. And with the Olympics coming up, I guess people are getting their Team GB on. So yeah, a much better Saturday. Fingers crossed those bits get um, um, paid for. But again, reseller Daz, Darren, thank you ever so much for buying uh, Gizmo. Now, last video, we didn't quite get around to talking about football cards and football stickers. And I know the sound of football or cards or stickers is going to put some people off, but do not switch off because there is so much money you could make right now. And if you buy the right players, the right product from the right years, there's loads of money to be made in the future as well. So let's head indoors because I've had five cards arrive today. I want to talk you through them, why I picked them up, what they're worth now and what my strategy is for them. Let's get indoors. Now check out these five cards. I've picked up some Panini Prism cards of the American Women's National Team. I've got five in total and these are really, really special cards. Now, I've been investing a lot in the um, American national team, particularly the women, because they are going to be playing in the Olympics this summer and they have got a fantastic chance to um, win gold. And whenever a sports team does well, particularly an American sports team does well, the American card collectors take a lot of interest. So it's a good opportunity to buy them cheap now and then potentially sell them for a lot more money whenever they are more successful in a major tournament. Now, these five cards cost me £40, which sounds like a lot of money, right? But actually, that card alone, Alex Morgan, this is the reason why I kind of bought the whole bundle. 
That is an £85 card in itself. And the reason why I was able to get these all for £40 was because the buyer was only shipping to the UK. They didn't have any international shipping option. Now, sports cards, are, you get the most money from sports cards by um, selling them to the American market. That is where the main interest and, and focus is, particularly around the American national team. So all I've got to do is stick that one on Global Shipping Program, and yeah, I'm on to a winner. But actually looking into these cards in a bit more depth, these are Panini Prism cards, and they're 2017. So this is Alex Morgan's first ever Prism card, and that is a big deal in the sports card world. Prism is a well-known brand across lots of different sports. So if you've got new collectors coming in to the soccer hobby and they're looking for cards to collect, they are going to go towards the brand and the card type that they know the best, which is Prism. So it is a good, solid brand to pick up. And what you'll notice from this one is it's got a really cool, shiny pattern in the background. The light's not picking up too well, but you can see there's a mezzanine pattern there and it's also got an orange white and purple background so these are not the base cards these are a bit more um, desirable so straight off the bat you've got a really nice card there Alex Morgan one of the American all-time greatest footballers um, she has scored a tremendous amount of goals and still got a good number of years left in her um, her social media following is just unreal as well. So she is, yeah, right on the front of everyone's mind. So yeah, a good start. Next up, you've got Carly Lloyd here. She's coming to the end of her career, but again, she is a fantastic footballer and again, is one of the all-time American greats. So for long-term potential, this one has got, um, yeah, this one was a good pickup. Next up, you've got Sam Mewis, and she is tipped to be one of the next generation stars. She is still quite young. She is still a prospect, but even so, this is a 15 to 20 pound card. Look at, you can see, you really see that kind of mezzanine pattern in there. Really, really great looking cards. So this one for me is a bit more of a long-term hold. I could still make some money on the way to the Olympics, but you've got lots of different tournaments which we could cash into in, in, in the future and being being the first ever prism set for these players that is particularly special now the last two cards here um good footballers in their own right but yeah they, they don't hold too much value they don't have the social media presence or don't have the well i was going to say illustrious career but they have still been part of amazing squads um yeah they're just not capturing the imagination of in um investors yet so these three here are definitely the picks of the bunch really really pleased to um, have them it's all about picking the right time to sell them though and this is the hardest thing for me at the minute is deciding when to sell my football cards and stickers because i've been buying these now for six or seven months and the way the football card and sticker market has grown over that time i can make a profit off of every single card and sticker i have bought without a shadow of a doubt it's just the way it is because everything has gone up in price but if i sell it now you know, is this market still going to grow? Because we've got some big tournaments coming up. Am I selling them too early? And in that time, how much are they actually going to go up? It's quite a nice predicament to be in. But yeah, I, I'm worried I'm going to sell stuff too early. But hey, leave that to me and I'll keep you posted. Right, let me show you what sold on Sunday. It's been probably the best day of the weekend. I've sold a nice few items. And the first one that went was this Paddington Bear. I can't remember if I showed you on YouTube or if this went up on um, my Instagram page, but I paid £3 for this one in the charity shop. He's got a really, really cool briefcase with his initials on. Lovely blue wellies. He went for £14 plus postage. And while on the theme of teddies, I sold this Pac-Man as well. So I got this in, in, the, in the latest uh, poker pickup. That one sold for £9.50 plus postage. Next up, we've got a jigsaw puzzle. Not a particularly high value. This is a picture of the Helford River. Had to read it, never been there. No idea, didn't recognize it at all. Thousand piece, no real big brand. That one only went for four pounds plus postage. Next up, we've got a bundle of Transformers. And these are all of Barricade, who is the police car. I've got three of them in there. Two of them are exactly the same. The other one's got a different color pattern. Whenever you, if you can find Barricade, the police car out there, look for that little blue figure there. You can just see him there. 
they're really hard to find those are and that adds a bit more value to them but even so these aren't particularly valuable transformers those three together went for 15 pounds plus postage next up i've got another thing that i that i got from my latest poker pickup i put a bundle of these psp games together now this one's boxed that's midnight club three it's got the manual in there and then just i've got another one two three four another seven loose discs there and there's a mixture of games and movies you know grand theft auto that's probably the biggest name need for speed fifa medal of honor no real big hitters at all so that bundle went for 10 pounds plus postage and i also sold this pair of trainers here these are nike 3 revolutions nice plain black color not particularly jazzy are they i i whenever i see nice bright color running shoes that's what i usually pick up but these being nike and in pretty good condition i went for them and they sold for nine pound fifty plus postage uk size eight so pretty solid size so yeah good to get rid of them really so yeah all in all pretty decent sunday and just to finish off the weekend, you will never guess what sold. That's right, I sold the Blu-ray, ET, and the spaceship, and all the lights, and that went on Sunday night. And I'm really pleased about it, because it goes to show, if you've got a good, desirable product, and you priced it right, there's no need to rush, because there'll be plenty of buyers out there who will pay what you want to get for it. So, yeah, really, really pleased. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks ever so much for watching the video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. For those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.